हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑफ चेस्ट एक्सरे वी विल सी अवर सेवेंथ लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कट अबाउट फ्यू टिपिकल नेम्ड साइन विच इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम लाइक नीट फॉर स्पेशलिटी फॉर पलोई मेडिसिन नीट पी जी एंड ऑफ कोर्स एम डी फाइनल एग्जाम सो बिलीव मी एवरी एक्सरे विच आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू इज बींग आस्ट इन योर एग्जाम्स सो आई डिस्कस ट्वेंटी फोर साइन which is important in chest x-ray so let's see one by one so what is this sign if you see carefully there is opacity on right side so this is common sign that is called sillhout sign so what is sillhout sign when there is absence of border of anatomical structure that is normally visualized in a chest x-ray so absence of normal border means in this opacity we are not able to make out uh, right heart border so whenever there is obscuring of normal structure like diaphragm diaphragm like a heart like a mediastinum so if any opacity we are not able to make out clear border then this is called sillhout sign positive so in this this opacity is sillhouting right side of heart so if you take example of uh, this x ray in this x ray there is opacity but if you see carefully it is not sillhouting right cardiac border not sillhouting diaphragm can you see both border are clear diaphragmatic border and right heart border so in this sillhout sign is negative so this is posterior mediastinal mass so any opacity which is obscuring uh, right heart border that is anterior mediastinum okay so this is posterior mediastinal mass in this x ray so again you can see this opacity and you can not make out left heart border so any opacity which is obscuring left heart border is anterior mediastinum so this is anterior mediastinal opacity if you see ct scan you can uh, well appreciate this opacity in anterior mediastinum in front of heart so this is about sillhout sign coming to sign number 2 so in this x ray you can see there is homogeneous opacity in unilateral hilar region okay so this is dense hilum sign okay so any opacity which is there in unilateral hilum then this is dense hilum sign so importance of dense hilum sign if unilateral hilum is prominent so it may be because of lung cancer or maybe aspiration pneumonia if patient is there in icu if there is aspiration pneumonia the segment which would be involved is apical segment of right lower lobe that is b6 bronchus sign so this is dense hilum sign coming to number 3 sign can you see this opacity but i am not showing sillhout sign so what is here here is hilum overlay sign what is hilum overlay sign if you can make out vessels behind this opacity okay in this example you can see there is vessel here you can appreciate pulmonary artery here can you appreciate so if you are able to make out pulmonary vessels in hilar region it means hilar opacity is not there in hilum either it will be anterior to hilum or posterior to hilum so this is significance of hilum overlay sign okay so can you tell me which mediastinum this opacity is can you tell me so if you uh, see carefully we can see hilar vessels so this is not in hilum okay if you see carefully we are not able to make out right heart border so this is anterior mediastinal opacity this is hilum overlay sign if you see x ray this is anterior mediastinal opacity or mass so number 4 can you appreciate opacity here so this is common ear bronchogram sign so where it is see it is see in pneumonia or pulmonary so whenever there is filling of alveoli either by fluid or by exudative material this alveolar part will get consolidated but the funny thing is ear we will be patent and air will be patent means there is air inside the airway which will give black shadow so if you see carefully here is white opacity but in between you can see 
black things. This is black airway. This is ear bronchogram sign, commonly seen pneumonia. So can you tell which sign is here? This is black one. So this is chilidity sign. So what is chilidity sign? When there is bubble interposition between diaphragm and liver. So here is diaphragm and here is liver. So if small intestine is there, it is called chilidity sign. Okay. Sometimes we can misinterpret it as hemoperitoneum. But this is not new peritoneum. This is air bubble, which is trapped between these two structures. This is chilidity sign. Number six, can you see the sign here? This is yes, very good. This is golden S sign, or also called reverse S sign of golden. So why this is formed? So whenever there is mass which obstructing right upper lobe. So because of mass obstruction, there will be right upper lobe collapse. In collapse, there will be shifting of minor fissure. So minor fissure shift like a S form. Can you see this S form? This is inverse S rather. Okay. So whenever there is formation of reverse S because of mass, so it produces golden S sign. So the significance is it is due to mass. Upper airway collapse due to mass forming golden S sign. Number seven, can you see here black area? So very good. This is Luftichef sign, it's tongue twister. Luftichef sign. Okay. So Luft means air, Shikel means crescent. So there is air crescent. So it is seen when there is left upper lobe collapse. So in left upper lobe collapse, what happened? If you remember my previous lecture, here is major fissure. Start from T2 uh, vertebrae and coming to anterior part of diaphragm. So in left side, there is only one fissure, major fissure. So whenever there is collapse of upper low, fissure shifts anteriorly. Okay. Can you see this is anteriorly fissure? This is fissure. This is upper lobe collapse. Okay, this is fissure. So when fissure shift anteriorly, there will be vacant space here. That vacancy will be filled by left lower lobe, especially apical segment. Okay, so because of apical segment, there will be air shadow between middle border of collapse and this is aortic arch or mediastinal border. So there is air trapping because of involvement of left lower lobe superior segment. Okay, so hyperlucency between middle border of collapse upper lobe and upper mediastinal border. This is Luftischel sign. Now number eight, can you see? So this is hard border. Okay, so what is this sign? This is flat waist sign. It occur when there is left lower lobe collapse. Okay, so because of left lower collapse, there will be flattening of aortic knuckle. Here we cannot make out out in the cul and we cannot make out pulmonary artery. So there is loss of contour of aortic arch and pulmonary artery. It is due to rotation of heart. So left lower lobe collapse, it causes rotation of heart. So we are not able to make out aortic arch and pulmonary artery. So hyalur structure shift downwards and rotation of the heart produces flattening of cardiac waste. So we can see flattening of cardiac border. This is flesh, flat waist sign. Now number nine. So can you appreciate this opacity in right side? So this is any clue? So I'll give you clue. Okay. So this is camel. So this is Hampton hump sign. It resembles hump of camel. Okay. So this is Hampton hump sign. So what is Hampton hump sign? This is wedge shaped peripheral consolidation, it's periphery and wedge shape, okay, with rounded convex, see rounded convex, apex directed towards hilum, significance of pulmonary infarction distal to pulmonary emboli. If there is pulmonary embolism, this opacity may be seen and apex is towards hilum. And why this opacity is formed? Because of lung infarction. This is not consolidation, 
this is lung infarction because of reduction in blood supply because of pulmonary embolism it causes pulmonary infarction necrosis and hemorrhage so this is hamptum hum sign you can see this peripheral opacity west shade opacity and this apex towards hilum this is hamptum hum sign and you can see clearly this is necrosis necrosis of lung parenchyma because of pulmonary embolism this is hamptum hum sign can you see this sign here is unilateral enlargement of pulmonary artery this is very good palla sign so again palla sign is seen in pulmonary embolism so there is prominent right descending pulmonary artery this is palla sign because of pulmonary embolism in this x ray you can appreciate enlargement of right descending pulmonary artery this is palla sign can you appreciate uh, this sign i don't think you will make you will be make out so this is western mark sign so in ct scan you can see clearly in ct scan you can see hyperlucency and here is hyperlucency so this hypolucency is because of reduce reduction in blood supply due to pulmonary embolism when there is blood uh, reduction in blood supply the area will be black and normal area will be white so this is also called mosaic pattern so this is because of pulmonary embolism it will cause focal oligemia because of pulmonary embolism and one thing also you can appreciate there is this black arrow this is prominent right descending pulmonary artery this is palla sign so in this x ray you can see both western mark sign as well as palla sign so can you appreciate uh, in this x ray so in this x ray you can see pulmonary artery and you can see this is cut off okay so this is fleischner sign and chang sign so what is that so fleischner sign is enlargement of proximal pulmonary artery because of massive pulmonary embolism if there is massive pulmonary embolism the blood supply will not be there so proximal part will get dilated say for example if there is pulmonary embolism here this segment will get dilated pulmonary artery right descending pulmonary artery okay and if you can make out this cut off sign then this is called chang sign so chang sign is abrupt caliber change because of pulmonary embolism and because of pulmonary embolism the dilatation of proximal vessel this is fleischner sign so again you can see this is main pulmonary trunk which is dilated because of pulmonary embolism in this patient both arteries are blocked because of pulmonary embolism so because of embolism the dilatation of main pulmonary trunk produces fleischner sign clear number 13 can you see this sign very good sign most one of most commonly asked question in your exam so this is deep sulcus sign very good deep sulcus sign can you see this is cp angle is sharp unusually this is deep sulcus sign seen in pneumothorax especially when patient is there in icu and x ray taken in supine position you know that in erect position nemo part goes upward but patient is lying down then air will go downwards this is deep sulcus sign seen in pneumothorax in icu patient number 14 can you see this sign so you can see heart and below heart there is hyperlucency so this is continuous diaphragm sign so you can appreciate this hyperlucency and diaphragm is continuously from right side to left side here in ct scan you can see this is right diaphragm there is air column and straight way goes to left diaphragm so this is seen in in case of trauma which causes which causes pneumomediastinum so whenever there is pneumomediastinum we can see continuous diaphragm sign okay so this is also important for your exam purpose now coming to 15 again you can see there is hyperlucency in this x ray you can see hyperlucency beside mediastinum and continuing towards diaphragm on diaphragm left heart border again this is seen in minimum mediastinum the sign is called neclerio v sign neclerio v sign seen in nemo mediastinum and there is air column in uh, border of uh, mediastinum and below the heart left side of heart 
this is negligible v sign this is also important so this is v shaped el lucency outlining the medial border of left hemidiaphragm and lower lateral mediastinal border this is negligible v sign coming to 16th sign so can you see this sign this is lung okay so this is pollen lung sign okay definitely pneumothorax is there but this is lung collapse not because of pneumothorax please keep in mind this is medical emergency this is seen in case of severe trauma when lung is traumatized from bronchus itself so lung will detach from bronchus okay so it will detach from bronchus and it will be supported by vessels only so lung detached from bronchus it will fall down okay normally in case of pneumothorax lung collapse medially but in case of fallen lung it drops uh, downwards and laterally okay so this is result of complete rupture of bronchus and pneumothorax okay this is fallen lung sign this is important for your exam so lung collapse displaced peripherally rather than centrally if centrally is there it means because of pneumothorax okay again you can see fallen lung sign in this x-ray if you see carefully there is pneumothorax there is fallen lung sign and you can see subcutaneous emphysema so this is massive trauma and causes pneumomediastinum as well as pneumothorax and fallen lung sign so don't misinterpret it as plain pneumothorax this is fallen lung sign now 17th can you appreciate opacity is here yes so right upper lobe so this is clue this is clue so this is finger in glove sign okay so what is that this is dilated bronchi filled with mucus impaction there is bronchi and bronchi there is mucus okay in ct scan you can see carefully beautifully you can see this is gloves in fingers sign seen in avpa bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and bronchitis so whenever there dilatation of airway and that dilatation of airway is filled with mucus it will produce a finger in glove sign now this is common sign from ug days we are reading this is bulging fissure sign so there is bulging of minor fissure because of over filling of left uh, right upper lobe this is right upper lobe consolidation and because of consolidation minor fissure is bulging downwards this is typically see in clepsila pneumonia because clepsila pneumonia produces large volume of inflammatory exudate so it is pushing minor fissure downwards so bulging fissure sign previously it was common but because of higher antibiotic and potent antibiotic it is not seen commonly nowadays so now 19th sign so you can see this arrow prominent paratracheal node this uh, right hilar node left hilar node so all three nodes are there we can appreciate so this is 1 2 3 sign garland triad or pavan broker sign so whenever there is enlargement of three groups of lymph node prominently left hilum right hilum and right paratracheal so it form it form like a garland this is seen in sarcoidosis also called lambda sign lambda how lymph node here 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 if you draw line like this this and this this is lambda sign so this is 1 2 3 sign garland triad pavan broker sign seen in sarcoidosis important now 20th sign so this is commonly seen in our opd but we don't know what is the name of this sign so you can see there is fibrosis in upper zone because of tb fibrosis post tb fibrosis And because of fibrosis, the attraction of diaphragm. So this is juxtaphrenic sign seen in post TB fibrosis. Because of fibrosis, there is pulling of lung, diaphragm. So this is juxtaphrenic sign, also known as Caton sign. Okay, now twenty one. So you can see this enlargement of heart, globular shape. And I'll give you clue. This is seen in usually younger age group. infant or one or two another clue is can you see this one this is egg so this is egg on a string sign so because of enlargement of heart 
there is pulling of mediastinum downwards okay it will give our egg on sting sign okay so also called egg on its side and seen in transposition of great arteries this is congenital heart disease in this we can see egg on sting sign so similar sign we can see in adult okay in adult we can see this enlargement of heart and it looks like a bottle okay this is seen in adult so this is seen in adult and called water bottle sign the water bottle has seen in pericardial effusion usually large pericardial effusion not in small water bottle sign now coming to 23rd can you see this sign here this is double density sign can you appreciate right heart border there are two opacity one is this one outer one and inner one so where it is seen it is seen whenever there is enlargement of left atrium because of left atrial enlargement and the condition which causes left atrial enlargement will cause double density sign like left ventricular failure mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation these are causing left atrial enlargement and whenever there is left atrial enlargement the atrium left side will come to right side from behind because left atrium is posterior side here posterior side so it will come towards right side so right side it give two density this is double density sign okay seen in usually pediatric case group congenital vhd pda we can see in pediatric case group double density sign and this is last you can see there is opacity in upper zone of right lung okay this opacity and in lateral x ray we can see there is opacity in upper lobe okay so if you find this type of x ray in infant less than 1 year of age this is normal so this is thymic notch sign so in infant many child they used to have this type of x ray and this is normal thymus okay so this is normal also called as thymic wave sign or thymic cell sign okay so in x ray you can find notch between right inferior border of thymus and right border of heart this is thymic notch sign okay so that's all in this presentation so if you are preparing for your exam or neat exam or pg neat uh, ss then you can see my previous video on x ray and take it from me every x ray which I, which i have shown you is being asked in your exam so keep reading and learn more see you with next video thank you very much